Hey guys, Willing from the Zombie Star, and really excited about this reveal. So this is from Big Time Collectibles. I'll leave a link uh, under the video. Visit the website. It's some pretty awesome stuff. And of course, what we're excited the most is the exclusive stuff that comes in. Recently, they had a Peach Moko. Okay, one of my favorite artists. Um, she does a lot of work across many different publishers. Um, and of course, what's really exciting about her is whenever she does her own version or variant covers, or even incentive covers. Uh, that I have that I've become a big collector of uh, recently with Vampirilla uh, she did some stuff with Marvel recently and also um, she's working on something with like uh, the Blade Runner comic that's that should be releasing soon uh, very unique artist I really love her art style so when I found out that Big Time Collectibles was going to have a Peach Moko themed kind of mystery box if you will or roulette um, I had to jump all over it <clears throat> our package came in um, I'm gonna open it up and see what it is. I'm hoping for some really exclusive stuff. There were some numbered pieces, uh, maybe 500 or 600 that were created, that were thrown in possible packages, and even slabs. Um, this feels kind of heavy, so I'm hoping for a slab. Okay, maybe something signed. I'm not sure if there was anything signed, but if I got something signed with Pichimoko, all the better. So, big time collectibles, roulette, mystery box. I don't know what to call this. This is a first for us. So let's just get it open. Let's see what's in here. <clears throat> uh, Peach Moko. Recently, the, another thing that she did which really blew me away was her work on Batman Black and White. Uh, we did get a variant cover where she did Talia Ghoul, which I showed in a in a video recently. And okay, so this looks nice. Whoa, okay. Um, and that was very awesome. Beautiful work. Beautiful piece. Come on. Don't fight me here. I like this packaging. This is something new. Okay, I don't want to look at it. Because I want this to be... Whoa, I like the box. Check this out. Never done this before with big time collectibles. So this is going to be a first. Check this out. Okay, I don't want to reveal anything. No. Look at this. This is from Big Time Collectibles. Okay, look at this snazzy box. I've never ordered anything like this before. Wow. Comic Shield. I guess this is the packaging, Comic Shield. Not really sure. But look at that. Very official, very nicely packed. This thing's heavy, this thing's dense. Feels like, you know, it would be okay if I dropped it. Not going to. So let's just open it. I'm gonna put it, go ahead and put it here. And I don't even know how to open this thing. Okay, I'm gonna cut right here. This box is so nice. I don't really wanna, I gotta open you. But honestly, like if it can fit slabs or even comic books that I wanna really, really protect, this is a good box to keep. So packaging, it's 10 out of 10 big time. Okay, here we go. So that was just, all right. So I'm not really gonna look in here. I see literature. I, I feel this is a slab already. Can you all see? You probably can't. Whoa, whoa, okay. So I already got a comic book here. Yes, this is a Pichamoko mystery box. Oh, very excited. So I just, I just grabbed a comic book. I thought it was literature, but it wasn't. So this is the first thing that we got in. Not sure what this is. This is a, 2020, a 2021 calendar. It came with a calendar. Awesome. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to use this. Whew. I got space on my wall somewhere. So we got a calendar. This is awesome. Has all the releases for King and Black. Everything that's coming out. I'm only following that symbiote Spider-Man, King and Black. But, awesome. We're going to start with, with January. That is cool. I, I, we, we have an official calendar. That is really awesome. Okay, let's keep going. <clears throat> Man, I don't know what this is. I don't want to look at my feed either because... Let's do it like this. You know what? Because even if I look at my feed... Oh my god, I don't like that sound. <sighs> okay, you know what I think this... What's going on here? It looks like this is just a covering. Okay, I'm gonna have to take a look here. Yeah, okay, I knew it. This is a covering, so I just need to take off this tape. 
because what it is it's a bunch of books that are just kind of between these two boards kind of like how you would send in your CGC um, submissions they're prepped in the same way which is good because they're very well protected so let me just take off these strips of tape and we will continue this mystery box I don't know why I'm so excited for that darn calendar I guess I just wasn't expecting it <clears throat> come on this is being a little bit of a pain okay so I went in and took that out got these blue pieces almost feels like a little pizza box all right we got it we got a book here so I'm not sure what this is you guys are looking at this oh my god that is king in black virgin looks like a pencil pencil sketch cover of null whoa 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 oh wow and that is a peach mocha wow okay honestly i don't know um you know what it is or even what number it is uh there was a list on the website of things to expect but i'm just doing it so blind and it's just peach mocha so that's enough for me to get into it but we first our first book is a virgin uh variant cover for a book on null okay uh which is the uh, king in black currently and we have a virgin variant for null i need to look this up i'm not really sure how rare this is <clears throat> okay let's keep on keeping on And a calendar. Okay, this one looks like it's a little bit stuck. Okay, 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 okay. What do we got? Haven't really seen it yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, this is Venom number 30. As you can see right here, we got variant edition. And this is such, again, so we're looking at, you know, the, the theme here is, is really null for Marvel. Um, and this is something that I had known previously. It's going to be in the Marvel Universe and a lot of her work that she's done with Marvel. So, so far we're looking at variant covers here. But these, these Virgin variants. Virgin because there's nothing else on it. You don't have the Marvel label, title, or barcode or anything like that. These Virgin variants, or sometimes Virgin incentive covers, are the most valuable, um, are the most sought, and the most rare. Okay? So... Right now we have a virgin, and this is definitely just a variant. Okay, for Venom number 30. <clears throat> this is pretty awesome. Oh, come on. Get out. Yeah, there's more tape here, and I'm so afraid of bending something. Okay, get off tape. If it's still like held down on one side. No, I didn't get it. Get out of here. Okay, still haven't seen anything. Okay, I got another one out. Whoops, I did the wrong way. But check that out. Okay, this is, now you can see, we have the incentive here. Or, I'm sorry, not the incentive. We have the variant here, right? And of course we have, this is the Virgin. Okay, Virgin cover for Venom number 30. Again, it's a standoff of uh, it's kind of that split look between that's better of Null and our boy Venom okay so yeah same book same artist Pichimoko but uh, it's of course now you don't have any they remove these labels and your virgin variants of course are the more sought more sought and more rare whoa this is exciting <clears throat> I think we removed all the tape. Okay, I did this one right. Not sure what's in here. Oh, wow. Okay, Dynamite Publishers. This is Vampirilla. She's known for doing a lot of work for Vampirilla. And this just looks like a variant cover. Okay, done by Peach Moko. Okay, yeah, it's, it's a run. Okay, so it's a number one. Okay. It's a number one of Vampirilla, Dynamite. I'm not really sure what the story is or what's going on here because it's not called Vampirilla. It's called Dynamite, so, and it's a one of five. 
So there's five, there's four more of these, but this is the number one Pichamoco variant. Beautiful work. Man, I really love that. I really love how she draws Vampirilla. How about that? Virgin Knoll. If y'all don't know, Knoll is like currently like the Thanos of the Marvel Universe, okay? All right. Okay, let's get this the right way. Nope, goes like this. I didn't really get that much of a good look at it. Okay, oh, I wonder if I'm going to get the whole run here. Here we have Red Sonja. Okay, another character from Dynamite Publishers. Let me see. No, this is a one of five also. Okay, so apparently we're looking at uh, two different runs and I'm getting number ones for them. This one showcases Vampirilla. This one showcases Red Sonja, both by Peach Moko. Not virgins, they're just variants. Okay. <clears throat> Man, I know. Okay. A lot of stuff in this box. Okay, 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 okay. What do we got? Horizon. Okay, I've 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 seen this actually in other websites um, where they sold um, graded versions of this uh, on the same website that I pulled um, a Spider Man number one Peach Moko variant, and I showed that in another video. It was a slab. Okay, and this was another option. I I did not purchase this one. I've totally went for the Spider Man first, um, but. The Horizon Peach Moco variant, um, Horizon Zero Dawn, um, was something that's that was very exclusive. Uh, something that I think maybe was just available online. Not sure about that. Horizon Zero Dawn, awesome PlayStation exclusive video game. Um, so and they made a lot like The Last of Us, where they where Dark Horse made a comic book run for uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, a video game. Uh, they also made a comic book run for it, and Peach Moco did a variant. For number three. Okay, this is number three. So again, just a variant. This is not virgin. This is not, uh, I'm not sure how rare it is. Uh, you'd be surprised how even though not being virgin or anything, it could be still a very rare exclusive book. But still, that artwork, you just cannot ignore it. <clears throat> and there's more. Okay, some of them are facing upwards. Like I feel this one's facing the other way. Right? Yeah, see, this one was facing down. Oh my god, look at this. This is number one, Vampirilla, The Dark Powers. Peach Moko. That is beautiful work. That red on white. <clears throat> uh, and this is a number one as well. Okay, so definitely a variant cover. Or if Peach Moko is doing this as her own run, I'm not really sure. This could not even be a variant, it could just be the standard covers as she does do standard covers for a lot of stuff i think she's currently going to be doing blade runner 2049 i believe and i think the standard cover is a peach moco so i'm definitely going to be picking that up but check that out apparently she does a lot of work with vampirilla <clears throat> okay Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. didn't see it didn't see it what is this Oh, yes. I did not know that she worked with Star Wars. Wow, but this looks very different. Huh. This seems strange. I'm going to have to look this one up. I honestly, it, the art style looks very different than a traditional Pichamoko. Don't you guys think? But this is a Pichamoko themed box, so. It's got to be, but that just looks kind of strange than, than what she's done before. But just knowing that it's Star Wars, got Rey and BB-8. Here we go, BB-8 here. Very pleasant surprise. All these books are bag and boarded, and they are in pristine condition. So, um, I'm very excited just to do my do my research and see kind of how exclusive these things are. But this is part of the Peach Moko box. Uh, the art seems a little bit off. I'm not sure if this is Peach Moko, but. Um, yeah, you never know. Came in the box, so. <clears throat> and there's more. Okay, what do we got? Not sure what this is. Whoa, Arrow. Okay, this looks more like a Pichamoko. And 
Is that Mary Jane? Whoa, okay, what is this? The Amazing Mary Jane variant. So this is Arrow number four. This is clearly a variant, uh, Peach Moco, and I just love that artwork. I don't know anything about this run, do not know who that character is. So I could not provide any information other than the fact that that's Mary Jane, Peter Parker's girlfriend. <clears throat> but just the fact that that Peach Moco art just makes the book all that much cooler. A lot of books in here. That's why I felt so heavy. Though I don't feel a slab. And I think we're coming to the end. This, could this be the big time? Holy moly. Again, oh, this is a comic book, guys. This is not like just a portrait or anything. This is a comic book. Whoa. This is a virgin... Pichamoko pencil sketch um, style uh, cover art for I don't know what, okay? But these, to me, my opinion, when I do my research on this box, these should be um, the most valuable. But I don't know about that. I'm not sure. Uh, just for the fact that they are virgins, uh, these pencil sketch um type style of art on the cover um very exclusive they're usually uh very extremely limited and only available for a certain amount of time <clears throat> so i'm very excited about these two i really need to look i'm not even sure who that is what I'm, I'm wondering since this is null from the marvel universe right i'm wondering maybe she has something to do with this run here i don't know i do not know but holy smokes i think that is everything. Is it? Is it? Okay, there's something else here. Don't know what this is. I think it's just the... Yeah, never mind. It's just the other side of the, of the box. So that's it. This thing's awesome. I'm going to use this to really secure some books. And use this for whenever I submit my CGC uh, comics. So, just to recap, uh, we'll talk about those in a minute. So, we got some Peach Moco Arrow. Don't know anything about it. If you guys know what this is, uh, shoot me a comment. Like, hey, man, that's a really awesome book. Um, this is the one that's really throwing me off. The art looks very different. But, I mean, if it's a Peach Moco, it's a Peach Moco. <clears throat> Loving what she does with Vampirilla. And, of course, I'm a huge fan of Horizon. This is an amazing game. And I haven't read the story, but I'm assuming it's, you know, just as good. And, 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 and uh, it's kind of just in the world of, of Horizon. And, of course, all her work that she does with Vampirilla. These are kind of throwing me off also. I'm just in it for the artwork. I'm not reading any of these. I'm aware of the characters. I know Red Sonja. And I am aware of uh, Vampirilla. But uh, these guys, I'm just in it for the artwork. Really excited. Oof. I mean, these these virgins are really, really getting me excited. This is Venom number 30. Peach Moco Virgin. Peach Moco Variant. Okay, you notice the difference? This is not a pencil sketch, though. It doesn't have that style of, of art to it. You know, it adds color and things like that. But doesn't mean it's doesn't mean it's not significant. Uh, it really is special. And, of course, you're, you're a variant. But I got to say, I got to say... These are really freaking me out because these are awesome. You got King in Black over here, Virgin Variant, pencil sketch art cover, and an unknown character, okay, um, for another very exclusive, very rare. I mean, they got to be. I do not know how many of these have been made. Um, and, of course, this mystery box was also very limited from Big Time Collectibles. <clears throat> and the calendar. We got a calendar. It came with a calendar. I mean, these things are just so practical. There's so many uses for them. Genius. All mystery boxes should come with a calendar. <clears throat> so that was our reveal. This is also like our weeks and this week in comics as there were some great releases this week. Just not anything that I'm reading. So actually what I did this week, um, I picked up Spawn. I am still on a mission to uh, collect <clears throat> everything from Spawn from 1 through 100. So, 
I'll just show off these. I picked up these at my store today. Well, I'm just right now. I'm in the 50s. I'm trying to collect everything in the 60s and the 70s. And I mean, let me just talk about Spawn for a little bit. Todd McFarlane back in 1992 created what I think it might be one of the best written superheroes. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> and I'm just on a mission to just collect everything for the first 100 issues because I think uh, for me that's like where the best you know Spawn is. So I mean, just classic Todd McFarlane. Look at that cover art. For a lot of the stuff that he's done <clears throat> right now I mean, this is in the 38s this was a significant cover I'm not sure why this was the most this was the more expensive one in this set and I wasn't sure it looks like a Christmas special kind of deal so that's probably why that cover was a little bit priced differently uh, the rest were you know standard marked up price of, of five dollars we're talking about books that were coming out in the 90s and they're kept in very good condition from my comic book store alien world you know who you are love you guys <clears throat> but yeah, I'm a huge Spawn nut, McFarlane nut. So anything that he does with Spawn, I really try to collect. So much other things that he did, especially with the character Sam and Twitch. I think that's another one that I'm going to start chasing. Anything he did with Sam and Twitch, they have these case file comic book run that came out. Um, and of course, the rumor of the Spawn movie. We'll, we'll see how that's going to go. But uh, these were the pickups today. Um, and this will be kind of the substitute for this week in comics. But, man, that was a lot of stuff. That was really exciting. Big time collectibles. That was awesome. Um, time for me to start looking up what this stuff is. If you guys can help me with any information, uh, just leave it in the comments below. Uh, Waiting from the Zombie Star. See you guys next time.